and congratulations, you got the RDP for free with the service manager and all admin permissions. I installed Mozilla Firefox and I run the speed test. I got around 220. Yo, hey Tim is here from geekblogging.com and today I'm showing you how to get free RDP from Google Cloud with $400 in credit. First, log in with your Google account and go to this page that you will find in the description box. Through this offer, you will see that you can get your hands on plus than 20 free products including compute engine and cloud storage, as well as $300 in free credits. But in this video, I'll show you how to get an additional $100 for free. Now click on get started for free. If you are already benefited from this offer, just contact the support and they will give you the free credits again. Here, choose your country and in this option here, make sure to choose startups. Another box will pop up where you should enter your business email. If you don't have one, I advise you to watch my previous video on how to get a professional email through Hostinger. Once you get it, type it right there and accept all the terms and click on continue. Here in this step, enter the verification code and click on verify. Then a confirmation message will pop up that you got approved for $400. Here, enter your phone number and verify. Mine is already linked to my Google account, so I don't have to do this step. In the payments information verification step, you will enter organization name, full name, zip code, and the card details. It must be a debit card issued from Visa or MasterCard. All virtual credit cards, uh, as called VCC, or prepaid, aren't accepted from Google, and PayPal is only accepted from some countries. My payments profile is already set from my Google Ads account, so I will click on Start my free trial. Now, specify the reason why you are using Google Clouds. If you don't have an idea, just follow mine. Now, click on the top menu on top left. Scroll down to Compute Engine and choose Virtual Machine. Click on Enable. First box, choose a name for instance, then choose the region you want as well as the zone. In machine type, select the memory of RAM you want. Keep in mind that any upgrades in specs, the monthly costs go up. You can add GPU if you want, but you will have to get the right machine type and region. You can activate the display device option if you want to use record features. Confidential VM services feature if you want to add protection to your data. In boot disks, you select the operation system you want, either Linux or Windows and multiple other options. In firewall, allow HTTP and HTTPS traffic. And finally, click on create. You will get a notification telling you that you can't create it. Go to Billing and click on Upgrade. Then click on Retry. Click on the three dots and get a Windows password. You choose the username and you will get a password that you should save. Then click on RDP button and download the RDP file and open it. Enter the password you have saved earlier. And congratulations, you got the RDP for free. Here is it with the service manager and all admin permissions. 
I installed Mozilla Firefox and I run the speed test, I got around 220 megabytes per second, which is a decent speed. And here are also the system properties. This is guys. So if you want to see more of this video, please click the like button, subscribe with notifications on, and share this video with your friends. All the links used in this video will be in the description box. And peace out.